Hummingbird 17RB by Jayco here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, those of you who follow me regularly may notice that this hummingbird looks like it's parked in a shockingly similar location to the last one. Came in and was parked right here. But I was able to park this one here because the first one sold six hours later. That's how quickly these things are finding homes. This is uh, like the hottest, newest thing on the market right now. It is taking off like wildfire. And for good reason. They did an amazing job on this product. They really sunk their teeth in and they didn't build a clone. They, they, they really, really took it to the next level. And this, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit on those points as we go through here. And there's a reason this thing is just flying off the shelves currently. No bird pun intended there. Um, so the quick disclaimer, the one that we have here might be a little different from the one we have in stock. This video is just here to tell you about them. You ever want to know how much uh, they cost or the links or the tanks or anything? I leave a link for you in the video description down here. Click that and it'll take you to our, our website where you can see all these teardrop style campers and get the whole skinny on every one of them. Uh, so what is it about this one that's made it so exceptional? Uh, the fact that it has double the warranty of anything else in this class is a big deal. That's no small thing. Um, and it's just smarter, better appointments uh, and just a really top shelf look. The color contrast package on this just, just boom! I mean, it, it is strong. Now, this is not a nose cap, but man, did they make it look like it. The way that they structured these decals here, it seriously looks like it has a full nose cap on it. For a moment, I thought it did. Uh, when they when I first saw the schematics, I'm like, is that a nose cap? And I found out, no, it's not. Only 3,010 pounds as this one is equipped. Um, you can get it slightly lighter, but you're going to have to sacrifice the nicer air conditioner that we put on here, and it's not going to be that much lighter. So it has a push-button power awning in a class that traditionally has no standard awning. That's absolutely awesome. Plus, plus, it has a multi-color LED light that runs under it. It has like a 16 color combination thing that you can activate and it can strobe between them. It's so cool to look at. The graphics, super sharp looking. Now this is actually raised right here. This is a raised graphic, so that's why it does have that three-dimensional punch. Uh, it comes with, this is basically a teardrop J feather. Okay, this is the little brother of the J feather white hawk family. But it's fully featured. They didn't strip out any features. That's what's cool. Inside outside TV hookup right here. So it does, uh, we did option this specific trailer to have a TV inside, but you can, if you want to get a second screen to mount it outdoors, there you have it. And it's a secure mount. It can't fall off. This table is standard. It comes, uh, it actually has its own self storing slot inside the trailer. So you don't have to lose storage for it. They were really intelligent that way because storage is at a premium on a little camper. So they didn't want to give any of it up, but now you have a built in lightweight picnic table and it's a resin top. Leave it outside in the rain. Who cares? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, again, storage is a critical thing. So they did give you good storage wherever they could. This big th uh, chunk right here runs under the front bed and it has a lot of good storage going on. And notice even LED lights over there. Now the uh, uh, baggage doors themselves, you can see they're fully trimmed out. So there is no exposed area for water to penetrate to cause any sort of uh, water damage issues. Um, at uh, something newer at the time of this filming is the key alike system. That baggage door key, that entry door key, that bag. Sorry about that. I've uh, done so much camera work today, I filled the memory card and I had to go dump everything off it real quick. So I think we covered this side of the trailer pretty good. Um, I, I do like the little hawk bill shape up front here though. That's a little different. It actually provides them some uh, interesting features in design standpoints up front. These are just incredibly easy to tow because they're narrow body. They're actually not even as wide as your common vehicle. They're six and a half foot wide versus a normal trailer that's eight foot wide. If I stand back, you can clearly see the size difference between them. And this is a J feather. This is just the next jump up in the family. You can see how quickly the size varies. Um, this is also easy towing because it's very aerodynamic. It's a one smooth sweep fiberglass. Um, there's no uh, like rubberized roof material or nothing like that you got to worry about. Um, it's just one easy sweep front to back. This piece of fiberglass is the same one you see in the backside. 18 gallon per hour water heater is a neat little best in class feature. Not all of them have a, a gas and electric fast recharge water heater. That's the key there. And this is a nice diamond plate up front to keep your uh, you know, uh, trailer looking good and keep the stones from wrecking the thing. Um, tinted windows give you privacy and keep it cooler. And every window I see opens for ventilation. Just, just a sharp looking wheel package. That little mag wheel style look right there looks amazing. And the outside utility shower right here helps keep the uh, you know little 
um, you know, uh, dump stations, spills, things like that managed. Or if you're just going to sit here and clean some fish or hose down the grandkids or whatever, put out the neighbor's campfire maybe. 100% <laughs> LED lights as well, inside and out. And this does have four corner jacks. Little details like that you take for granted, you assume they're there, but they're not always. Uh, some trailers this size will have only rear stabilizers, which means the nose, which is where you're sleeping, wiggles all over the place, even on your campsite. Um, the uh, single aluminum step here, the idea is kind of like a boat dock. You know, your feet can get wet and you're not going to slip around. It's just little detail stuff like that that I like. Uh, like the fact that you have a little marker light amidships. You got a, a mid, uh, so, well, since the body's not as wide as the axles, because axles are pretty standard, um, they put a little marker light right here. So if you're pulling in at night, you have an eyeball of where your wheels are uh, so that you don't actually, you know, run over anything and crush anything. And a bigger entry handle for coming in, even though it's a small trailer, stuff like that's nice, you know. If you've got a bad knee or hip or ankle or something, it's good to have something to hold on to. Uh, hopping inside here, it continues to not disappoint. Let me close the door behind me. Um, right when you walk in, you got all the lights on one switch. And even in the middle of the day, it just really makes a big bright difference in here. So this is your slide out. This is your kitchen slide. Um, and what I like about it is it's deceptively good kitchen space because you're used to seeing your stove and your sink close to you because this is where you're going to you know, do your dishes and cook but they leave you appliance space back here in the slide out. That's why they have that outlet back there. So you do have room for a toaster and blender and coffee maker and all that right here. The uh, nice, it's nice that they strutted the door so that they hold themselves up. That was a really nice touch there. And if you are cooking, you can exhaust the heat right here in this vent. They give you the perfect spot to do that. Like I said, one of the options, and we've upgraded on this trailer, and we'll probably always do this, but I do want to just point it out, is the bigger air conditioner. Instead of a, a side mount, this is the bigger 13,500 BTU roof mount. Gives you just far superior cooling capacity in here. That is a convection microwave. So you don't need to worry about wasting space for an oven that you need for storage. If this had an oven, you wouldn't have a nice drawer space like that. So now you can knock out two and one. Again, smarter, just smaller. That's, that's what I like about this. Gas and electric fridge. So whether you're plugged into park power or you're just running off, um, you know, uh, your propane, you're all set. And we do have a nice little freezer pocket here so you can have a popsicle o'clock going on. I like popsicle o'clock. Next to your sleeping space, you got all kinds of plugs over here. You can actually put a little satellite uh, unit right here. That's what this little jumper is. You can set it right on this little shelf. Uh, you've got residential and USB plugs to keep all your devices and everything charged right up and right next to your bed. So this could also be like an alarm clock shelf. We did add the TV to this and it comes on this big double jointed swing arm. So you can have it facing you in bed. You can have it facing you over here at the dinette. If you're uh, cooking in the kitchen, you can have it swung around and face in the kitchen. There's just no, no bad place to be in here. Um, nicer window treatments than anyone else I've ever seen in this class too. They really dress this thing up so nicely. Uh, all your, your windows have the pleated shades as well. This has the exact same bedding as its big brother Whitehawk, Eagle even. I mean, this is the bedding Jayco uses, period. Best in class, um, Simmons uh, Beautyrest residential grade mattress. That is sharp. We have had people just giving us a lot of very positive remarks about the bedding in our Jayco's now. And uh, the uh, the nicer linens and things they're putting in here, that's a nice touch too. Um, the, uh, what is the color scheme? I can't remember the name of the color scheme, but again, long story short, uh, the one that we have in stock might look a little different uh, from this. We're certainly going to run through a ton of these this year. This is already proven to be so popular. Good overhead storage. And uh, I like the fact that their cabinetry is all screwed together, not stapled. It's just one of those things that's what keys into the fact that this does have that double length warranty. It, all that stuff does add up and matter. Let me back up real quick just to kind of give you a nice little sweeping shot here. Moving forward. Um, handy little either, you know, walk-in jacket holder, or you could easily use this for like your phone holding charging station. By the way, the indoor outdoor table you saw, it just slots right in here. You know, it's a, it's a weird thin space that would just be wasted pocket in a wall. So they made it a table holder. That's just, that's the Jayco advantage. That's what's so smart. Now, this is the, the key part of this floor plan is this big rear bathroom. Uh, teardrop campers usually have what's called a wet bath where that toilet is 
in that shower and then you're in a coffin sized closet. This is the one that actually has a bathroom where you can you can take a shower, you can get dressed in. It's a, it's a perfect, perfect couples camper. We have a nicer foot flush stool. We've got normal trailer amenities here in a small teardrop camper. And this opens up the opportunity to have some nice linen storage back here. They really did a good job and they fully mirrored that. The only problem with the mirror is now you gotta look at this. Ugh. Nobody wants to see that in their camper. Good news is, I'm not included. Uh, unless you're my wife and that poor lady, I don't know how she does it. So give us a call, learn more, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.